So here is a whole new catalogue of experiences, apps and games for the Meta Quest 2. You can also install any Android phone app on the Quest 2 now too. Now hold up, before you do any of this, you'll need a computer and a Quest 2. If you have that, then... Hey, I'm Ethan from Horizons VR. I'll show you how to get SideQuest for the Meta Quest 2 and Android app support. So let's dive in. So the first step is to power on the Quest 2 and go into the mobile app. Go to Menu, Devices and click on Develop Mode. Enable the slider. This allows your Quest 2 to access develop mode and all the features within it. But to use the developer feature, you'll need to change your Meta account to a developer account. On your PC, go to developer.oculus.com and sign in using your Meta account. Then create an organization using whatever name you want. Now you have access to developer settings on the Quest 2. Now go to sidequestvr.com and click get sidequest. If you're new to this, click the easy installer. This will result in you getting sidequest on the headset itself, being able to install apps and games from within the headset. The advanced installer is for people who want to install other Android apps and games onto the headset or stream the Quest footage to the computer and more. This will install on the PC only, not on the Quest. Download the installer and run it. Plug in the headset and click the install side quest onto the headset button. Once it's complete, jump into the headset. Go to the apps and games section and, and change the all to unknown sources. It'll prompt you to go to a website and link your side quest account with the app. Once completed, on the PC installer program that you used, you can use the tabs on the side to control your Quest 2, being able to transfer files to and from the Quest 2 and your PC, changing the performance mode, making it run better or have better battery life, changing the game texture resolution to make them look sharper, and you can adjust the refresh rate for all games and apps from 60Hz, 72Hz, 90Hz and 120Hz, changing the perceived smoothness and speed. You can also set the fixed foveated rendering mode to off, low, medium or high. I recommend if you're changing the textures and refresh rate to like something high then slowly bump up the fixed phobia to rendering as this will increase the performance on the Quest 2 allowing it to run at the high refresh rates and textures. This will change the resolution of the outer part of the screen. The middle part of the screen should be full resolution. The outer part will be pixelated but be wary all of these changes reset after you've restarted the headset so you'll have to do all of these over again once you restart the headset. The the final useful part of this app is you can get support from the official SideQuest crew and the SideQuest community. For the advanced mode, run the program and install it to any location on your computer. Once finished, you'll be able to do everything the simple installer can do and much more. To change the performance and quality and more, go to the spanner at the top right of the screen and that is all the settings for the Quest 2. There you can also change the recording settings like widescreen recordings at 60 frames per second. You can enable or disable the proximity sensor so when you take off the headset that's when the screen turns off. On the advanced version you can also stream the Quest 2 footage wired or wirelessly from the Quest 2 to the computer so you can live stream to Twitch or YouTube. If you wish to do this wired go to the TV icon at the top right of the screen and you can change the encoding bitrate and click on Quest 2 Crop for the optimal video quality. To do this wirelessly, go to the little Wi-Fi symbol at the top right, make sure your Quest 2 and computer are on the same Wi-Fi and hit connect. This will find your Quest 2 if it's plugged in and connect to it. The headset will disconnect and reconnect so it will work. Afterwards, you can unplug your headset and the little Wi-Fi logo should turn green. If it is, you're connected through Wi-Fi. You can stream, change settings and install apps wirelessly to the headset. So, if you want to get an Android app on the Quest 2, then make sure you have the APK file and the advanced side Quest version installed. Then you need to drag the file across to the right side and then into the drop files here section. This will seamlessly install it over to the Quest 2. Most apps will work, but some of them require either the Google Play services or its own resources it has to download itself. So once you jump into your Quest, go to Apps and Games, then select Unknown Sources. The apps you just installed should be there. Then you can just play them as you would normally on a phone or an iPad. If you have any issues or questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and help as much as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya!